Hello there. This is Being God's Obedient Servant channel. And today we're going to be doing uh, Numbers chapter 10. So, if you're new to this, this is the Bible study channel. Um, deal with the, uh, I read from and study from the King James Version. As you can tell from the picture here. So, I'm going to jump right on in here. And uh, get started. This is a pretty straightforward reading. Um, and it's, uh, so not really, this is mostly all for the Israelites of their time. And actually there's a rule in here. It's supposed to be, uh, still obeyed today. So let's go ahead and jump right on in here and, uh, do our little study. So chapter 10, verse one, when the Lord spake unto Moses saying, make thee two trumpets of silver of a whole piece shalt thou make them that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps and when they shall blow with them all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and if they blow but with one trumpet then the princes which are heads of the thousands of Israel shall gather themselves unto thee when ye blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east part shall go forward. When ye blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the congregation is to be gathered together, ye, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. And the sons of Aaron, the priest, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. So here's uh, the part here that, you know, there was no time limit on this. It is supposed to be throughout the generations. So even today, they're still supposed to be using this. Whether they do it or not, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm just saying this is uh, still uh, God's rule. For the Israelites. So, let's continue on here, verse 9. And if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresseth you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpet, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. So this is once again, um, you know, what they're still supposed to be doing even still today. But, as I said, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I'm not living in Israel. I'm not part of the Israelites. Uh, so I don't know if they do this or not. But I hope that they do remember to do these things because, as like I said, like, you know, it still says throughout your generations, which means there is, no, it doesn't end. And it's for the Israelites specifically. So let's continue on here, verse 10. Also, in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days and in the beginnings of your months ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings that they may be to you for a memorial before your God I am the Lord your God now I don't know what the Israelites do today because they never accepted Jesus as the Messiah so they're still saying that they live by Old Testament but I hear that they don't do sacrifices no more, and I've never read anywhere in Old Testament that they were to stop, except whenever Jesus says that he's here to finish the law, which was also finished the sacrifices. Um, so, I don't know what they're doing today, but, you know, <laughs> everybody thinks that they can just rewrite the word of God and just do it as they want to, and... You know, there's not going to be any bad consequences for that. So, well, I said, you know, they're going to have to answer for to God for what they do. We're going to have to answer to God for what we do. Everyone's going to have to answer for themselves. You're not going to answer for anybody else. Unless you cause them to sin, then you'll also, end, you know, be charged with their sin as well because you've helped cause it. So, let's continue on here. Verse 11. 
And it came to pass on the 20th day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from off the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Israel took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. And they first took their journey according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. In the first place went the standard of the camp of the children of Judah according to their armies, and over his host was Nashon, the son of Amenadab, and over the host of the tribe of, children, tribe of the children of Issachar was Nathaniel, the son of Zuar. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Zebulun was Eliab, the son of Helam. Uh, I think it's pronounced Heland. I'm going to start saying Heland. Because, uh, well, I mean, it could be Helen, but either or. I don't think God will mind if we mis mispronounce names here. Uh, verse 17. And the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set forward bearing the tabernacle. And the standard of the camp of Reuben set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Elijah the son of Shador. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Simeon was uh, Shalumiel, Chil the son of Jerishadai. Yeah, good luck me actually saying those things again the same way. <laughs> Some of these I, I mess up a lot. So. Uh, verse 20. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph, the son of Deal. And the Kohathites set forward bearing the sanctuary, and the other did set up the tabernacle against they came. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Elishima, the son of Amenahab. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedazer. Uh, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abadan, the son of Gideon, uh, Gideonai. And the standard of the camp of the children of Dan set forward, which was the rearward of all the camps throughout their host. And o over his host was Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pagil, the son of Okran. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enan. Thus were the journeyings of the children of Israel according to their armies when they set forward. And Moses said unto Hobab, the son of Ragil, or the uh, Ragil, I'm, I'm going to say just Ragil, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, we, we are journeying unto the place of which the Lord said, I will give it you, come thou with us, and we will do thee good, for the Lord hath spoken good concerning Israel. And he said unto him, I will not go, but I will depart to mine own land and to my kindred. And he said, Leave us not, I pray thee, for as much as thou knowest how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and thou mayest be to us instead of eyes. And it shall be, if thou go with us, yea, it shall be that what goodness the Lord shall do unto us, the same will do unto thee. And they departed from the mount of the Lord three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in the three days' journey, the cert, to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was upon them by day when they went out of the camp. And it came to pass when the ark set forward that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee 
flee before thee. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, unto the many thousands of Israel. That's the end of chapter 10 here. So, as I said, it's pretty much a straightforward reading. Um, nothing really pertaining today, you know, for us today. But, you know, it's is uh, Jesus taught from the Old Testament, so we need to know it just as much as we do the New Testament. Because there's many parts of the Old Testament that does apply to everybody all around the world all the time. As I said, there's only certain parts of the Old Testament that only apply to the Israelites. And to the rest of us, there's rules in there as well. Just like there's rules for women, there's rules for men, there's rules for children, rules for families, rules for uh, leaders, rules for servants, you know, anybody and everybody in between. There's, uh, you know, the rules for uh, what they call masters or, you know, what we would call, you know, bosses today is what we call kind of call them. But, you know, it's even in New Testament, those same rules are, you know, are there as much as, you know, in the Old Testament. But, so I don't know. This is a, this is just a straightforward reading. So I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson here. So I'm going to say a quick prayer. And so uh, <laughs> I said, I, I hope uh, anybody uh, hearing these uh, things, uh, these uh, these less, you know, Bible study lessons, that, you know, I, I'm hoping that it's uh, reaching some people out there. As of right now, I don't really have too many people viewing. Um, maybe one day. It may be years from now. Who knows? I don't know. So, anyways, I'm going to say a quick prayer. Dear, dear Blessed Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the word that you did, did give us so that we may know you. So that we may learn from you, grow with you, and learn what makes you happy and learn how we're supposed to live our lives and you know there's many things going on in the world today this is uh, you know coming up on November of you know 2022 got an election here in America that's hopefully gonna start bringing some more peace to our land because we are severely broken we are cracked we're and got a lot of people it's just you know they got a lot of burdens on their heart and on their minds so please lord please help heal our lands help bring the people back to you this is all around the world not just america we need that we need a you know we need a healing worldwide but as the bible says these things shall come to pass so as jesus told you god your will be done and that is a fact. But please can please help save as many as you can. I'm trying my best to help reach people, help others spread the word as well, so we can save as many as we can before those days come. And in Jesus' name I pray thee. Amen. So, so once again, I uh, hope you're enjoying the lessons here. Uh, until next time, God bless, good night, and goodbye.